It's a well-known fact that the prevalence of diabetes has been steadily increasing amongst adults and children over the last few decades. The most common type of diabetes is type 2 diabetes, and that's when the body becomes resistant to insulin or fails to produce enough insulin. Individuals with a lifestyle disease such as type 2 diabetes are almost always diagnosed with prediabetes first. Prediabetes is a condition that does not always manifest in symptoms. It's an invisible warning sign that often goes undetected and the person may not even realize that they have it. Diagnosing prediabetes in a timely manner can however make you gain control over your health before it poses any further consequences, including the possibility of a heart attack, stroke or even cancer. You're watching part 1 in a 3-part series deep dive into prediabetes. In this video, I'm going to explain what it is, how it occurs and common symptoms people with this condition may experience. Hi, I'm Rishi and thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a practicing nutritionist with a background in human physiology and nutritional sciences. I take a holistic, scientific approach to all aspects of health and wellness. I practice functional medicine and use food and lifestyle interventions to manipulate hormones in order to optimize one's nutrition, promote longevity and healthy aging. So if you want to hack your health span and be the best version of yourself, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. So what is prediabetes? What does it mean if you are pre-diabetic? The term pre-diabetes refers to a diagnosis characterized by higher than normal blood sugar levels, but not high enough to be considered type 2 diabetes. The human body produces the hormone insulin in the pancreas, which enables it to convert glucose into fuel. Upon eating a meal, the carbohydrates in the food are converted into glucose or blood sugar and put into your bloodstream. The glucose then stays within the bloodstream until the pancreas releases insulin. The insulin aids in opening the cells up, allowing the glucose to enter the cells, thus helping the body receive fuel. But without insulin, or if insulin is not being produced optimally, the glucose accumulates in the bloodstream itself, causing blood sugar levels to rise, thus posing a greater risk of the commencement of prediabetes. With prediabetes, the body is struggling to maintain blood sugar levels within a healthy range. The body stops using insulin as efficiently as it should and gradually begins to develop a resistance to it, which is why it's called insulin resistance. If this process continues for a prolonged period of time, the existing condition of prediabetes may easily escalate into type 2 diabetes. When we eat and digest carbohydrates such as potatoes, bread or rice, the sugar is first stored in our liver as glycogen. Glycogen stores in the liver quickly fill up and the next place it goes is our muscles. Our muscles use the sugar for energy or store it as glycogen in order to maintain stable blood sugar levels. This process is an important part of blood sugar control and helps explain why people with less muscle are more likely to develop diabetes. Since the symptoms that signal insulin resistance are extremely gradual, they might sometimes go unnoticed and under the radar for years. Some of the symptoms though that ring a warning bell for the possible onset of prediabetes are as follows. Number one, a constant feeling of tiredness and lethargy. A sense of fatigue that sets in after doing the slightest work might signal prediabetes. Number two, constantly feeling hungry. Recurrent hunger pangs despite eating meals on time is a sign that indicates the possibility of developing prediabetes. The urge to want to snack every two to three hours is a big warning bell. Number three, frequent urination. The excess sugar built up in the bloodstream means the body will produce more urine to flush out the glucose. The greater the frequency of urination, the greater the chances of dehydration, thereby creating a cyclical pattern of increased thirst and hunger. Number four, increased thirst. Feeling the need to keep having more than the recommended amount of water through the day may signal prediabetes as well. Number five, blurred vision. A sudden unexplained blurring of eyesight can be one of the warning signs of prediabetes. If ignored, it can lead to retinopathy, a medical condition that damages the blood vessels in the retina of the eye and might cause loss of vision in some cases. Number six, unintended weight loss. Losing a significant amount of weight despite eating regular meals may be a warning sign to watch out for as well. Number seven, numbness in the limbs. A recurring tingling sensation felt in the hands and feet is yet another characteristic sign pointing towards prediabetes. Number eight, signs of insulin resistance. If the body is not responding efficiently to the production of insulin, it can manifest in signs such as darkened patches on the skin, abnormally increased levels of hunger and thirst, 
and experiencing difficulty in concentrating and memorizing. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for parts two and three to understand who's at risk for developing prediabetes and what you can do to reverse and prevent it. If you know someone who is suffering from insulin resistance or diabetes, get in touch with me at rishidhimra.com to know more about my holistic health to be a functional medicine program that can help you manage, reverse and prevent diabetes.